Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday, March 24th, 2022, when I'm filming this. Starting our day off in Toulon here. Got to pick up some stuff. I'm two hours early for my appointment, but they're ready for me, so we're going to get loaded now. Oh, I'm way too nice. I am way too nice. I should have just cut in there. There's no one waiting behind me, so I'm not holding anyone up. I just, I know I'm going to be going slower than these guys when we head down the highway that way. And there's a cop there too, so it's probably a good thing I didn't cut in front of him, just in case he's feeling grumpy today. Isn't there another car coming? One more. Oh, I should have gone. I should have gone. This guy's waiting here. This guy's got a nice truck, eh? There we go, it's our turn. Thanks, bud. So I've got another load going to California. We've got to remember when we send trailers like this to California that they always have a lift axle in the back shortens the wheelbase of the truck and it uh, makes the DOT in California happier. California always has different and uh, you know they have their own regulation world out there. You sort of got to work around California and when you go there everything's got to be their way. It's their way or the highway out of California. <laughs> they will escort you out if you do not follow their way of doing things. But that's okay. We love California, right? I like palm trees. I like good weather. Right? I mean, you can go and get good weather in palm trees in Florida, too. I'll just throw that out there. But uh, this trailer's going to California. I'm not going to be going with it. I've got work to do around here. We're done with that morning assignment. Now we've got this afternoon assignment. What do we got? Two, three, four. Four lifts of a four by four. 20 foot pieces here I'm guessing just rough guesstimating just by the look of them they look pretty nice they're the kind of wood I'd like to take home and build stuff with you know but nope someone else needs them we're gonna bring them into Winnipeg someone needs them right? and they need them right now I'm gonna bring it to them as soon as I do my pre-trip oh there's an ocean back here or oh, it's fresh water it's a lake oh this is fun check this out Oh, oh, it's very thin ice. Oh. Oh no, there's a leak. All the way down there. <laughs> right down. Must be springtime. Ah, the reason all the water sits like this in springtime is because the ground is still frozen and the water can't drain into the ground. So it just sits on top until the ground thaws. Well, that's okay. Oh, check the tires while I'm here, eh? Yes! Oh! Yes! Alright, let's bring these into Winnipeg, shall we? What's this up here? Is this part of it? I don't think that's part of it. I think that's just dunnage. I'll bring it along just in case. This trailer was dropped so low here that I had to dump my air suspension on my truck and sort of push myself underneath the trailer to lift it up and I lifted my airbags back up now and look how much space I haven't rolled these up yet I don't know if there's a reason why this trailer was dropped so low maybe there was ice here before and that's where the ice was and then it melted down I don't know but uh, yeah we had to push ourselves under here but don't worry don't worry trucker Josh has got it we're hooked up Chevy, what do we got over here? Oh, 
Oh, they're here. Some came from Amazon. Oh, I'm so excited too. Diesel, I can barely contain myself, man. Someone got a box. It was a box. The guy came. It was very exciting. It was very intense. He rang a doorbell. It was very intense. I scared him away. Don't worry. I helped. I helped. We scared him away. I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> well, I hope he does because I got more packages coming. He was a very scary guy. I don't know. Anyone who rings the doorbell is pretty scary to you, eh? So, uh, for my birthday this year, my birthday is on April 1st, 20... Uh, <laughs> 2022 i'm used to saying the date like at the beginning of my vlogs uh, i was born in 88 but uh my birth is on april 1st and that's no joke uh my mother-in-law got me gift cards for uh, amazon she gave them to me a little early at one of our family gatherings uh last week or so and uh i took it and i got myself something i want to show it to you i'm very excited to open this up it's for the shop okay i'm gonna put you down right here it's on the oven <laughs> Oh, very excited. Okay, I don't want to wreck it. Okay. Get it out of there first. Oh. Oh. This is what I'm looking at right now. Can you guys guess what it is? It has a power plug and it's a circle. And it's for on the wall. Dun 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 dun! It's a neon clock. Wow! Sorry, I'm in my pajamas. Not in my right. Well, you don't care. You don't care. Whatever. Check it out! Only the best! Let's plug it in, see what it looks like. How do you plug this thing in? Okay. Bear with me, folks. I already know exactly where it's gonna go in the shop. Front and center, when you come in. Yeah, you gotta know the time when you're in the shop. Very important. Otherwise, you get carried away and you stay there too long. And uh, you get in trouble when you get back to the house. So it's very important that I know what the time is at all times. What the time is at all times. Yes, I need to know that. Okay, here we go, here we go. It's not a very long cord. I can't put it very high. I'm going to need to bring an extension cord. Okay, where's this cord? Okay, you guys ready? Don't want to drop it. I don't know why the cord doesn't come out of the bottom. My OCD is going to go a little crazy with this. You see, here's the bottom, right? The six, right? Why does the cord come out off center? That's gonna drive me nuts. I mean, I'm okay with it because it's Chevrolet. But come on, Chevrolet. Come on. Why wouldn't the come straight down? Now it comes out sideways. That's okay. It's okay. You know me, I've always got to complain about something. Alright. Okay. Okay, plugged in. Whoa! Ho! Oh! Oh, what's it do? Oh, it's flashing! Wow! What if I... Okay, so if I... Now it just stays on all the time? Okay, you guys seeing this? And it's off. Pull it again. On and flashes. I don't know if I like the flashing. That's going to distract me. There we go. Yes! That's awesome. Cool. Now we just gotta put batteries in it so the clock works. I guess that's kind of important. So that's super cool. Really happy with that. So thanks, mom in law. And Gary, I appreciate the gift. I feel like a little kid when I get presents. <laughs> I'm 34 and it's still, I still get all excited. Uh, I don't really need anything. That's the thing. Because, uh, you know, I'm 34. I don't need presents. I don't need Christmas presents. I don't need birthday presents. But uh, what do you get someone nowadays? You know? So they got me a gift card for Amazon. And uh, that's what I chose to spend my money on. I've got to get some more neon lights for the for the shop yet. And eventually I want to have them all on a switch. 
not like a light switch, but I'll connect them all to like a cord with the automatic switch because I don't want to have those lights on when I'm not there. I don't have anything plugged in when I'm not there. Uh, so when I leave, I can just click one switch and all the neon lights will pfft, turn off. We'll figure that out in the future. Like I said, right now I'm just happy to have the space. I got a few flags up in there right now. It's, I'm happy with it. And uh, I don't want to go too overboard and build anything permanent or anything. Uh, it's got to get some temporary shelving for in there yet. Get my product off the floor. And I do need more desk space. Uh, well, a proper desk and more counter space or like work table space so that stuff we will put in but story for another day it was a little bit of a short day today kind of running around i still got a lot of work done but uh you know we uh picked up the load up in toulon brought that back delivered those uh four by fours they were 14 feet not 20 feet 14 feet long delivered them and came back and that was the whole day pretty much uh after that i just got my trailer ready for tomorrow we're going back to toulon again i got to be there at nine uh, so my trailer's all ready to go, truck's all ready to go. All I gotta do is uh, just get a good night's sleep because I've been going to bed too late again recently. I try to get to bed. My bedtime is 8 o'clock. That never happens. My alarm goes off on my phone. It's Trucker Josh, go to bed, Trucker Josh. Go to bed. It's exactly what it sounds. I'm, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> maybe I should make it sound like that. An alarm goes off anyways and uh, it tells me it's time to go to bed. So then I drop everything I'm doing. I go brush my teeth, uh, um, start getting ready for bed, you know, floss. And then I have a night guard that I wear from my dentist to stop me from grinding my teeth at night. And I go lay in bed. And then I watch TikTok for three or four hours. And uh, I think that's my problem. I think. I think that's where I'm uh, losing out on some sleep. I don't know. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'll figure it out. And we're going to get the sleep we need. I don't know if I can cut back on the TikTok, though. We might have to cut back on something else. Maybe we'll have to set our bedtime for 6 o'clock instead, so i got time for TikTok. We'll see. I don't know. That's like my my relaxation time, you know, catching up on the news. You know, right now, everything going on in Europe and Ukraine and stuff. Uh, I catch up with that just before bed. Uh, I like to read my articles and wind down. My wife likes to read. She reads books. Uh, recently gotten into a couple of really good books. And it's sort of inspiring me to get back into my my books maybe i will but for now I, I like reading news articles i'm kind of a news junkie i know it's not a healthy habit at all and neither is tiktok or youtube but i encourage you please keep coming back subscribe here on youtube you can find me on tiktok my handle is at tjv tiktok so it's tjv t-i-k-t-o-k -T -T it's just easier to say tjv tiktok you can find me there same profile picture that i have across all my accounts um I only have a couple of hundred followers over there on TikTok, and I have 114,000 plus here on YouTube. So I think we could, uh, you think you could help me out and up my TikTok game just a little bit? I'm not the best TikToker. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna warn you right now. I'm not the best, but I'm trying. Okay, I'm getting better, getting better, and uh, I'd love to have you over there as well. Maybe I should put a link to that down below in the description. I'll have to add that in. It'll probably come in in next week's videos. But for now, if you are into TikTok, I'm guessing you probably are. Most. It's, it's a pretty popular app. Chances are you probably are. Uh, and you're probably ashamed of it. It's okay. I won't tell anybody. Your secret's safe with me. I won't tell anybody. Uh, I downloaded TikTok as a joke, like everybody else. I thought that it was a kid's app and that it was going to be ridiculous. Uh, no, I spend hours and hours a day on it. And I started making videos there. So here we are. No shame. Um, I'm, I'm TikToking every day now. And if, and if you're one of those people too, you don't you don't have to tell anybody, okay? I won't tell anybody, but go follow me there too, and uh, uh, you'll get more up to date updates on TikTok. What I do is I, I post like stuff immediately from my day onto TikTok. There it sort of gives you a preview of what's to come in my regular vlogs, my regular content. You'll get sort of like a look into the future, okay? That sounds pretty cool, right? I'll see you there. Take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow, or on TikTok. I won't tell anybody.